welcome to the Z Report. Today is April 26. This is my second video for today. If you saw my video from the, earlier today, stick to the end and I'll talk about that later when it comes to the audio. There's some audio issues with that video and that was intentional, but nonetheless, I will address it at the end. Today, firmware 3.3 for the Z6, firmware 1.2 for the Z6 Mark II, firmware 1.2 for the Z5, and 2.1, I believe, for the Z50. All the firmwares came out and they all have minor improvements to the camera. The one that has the most is the Z6 II and that's getting out of focus and some additional features within that that we'll address in a little bit. But the Z6, as far as I can tell, it only got a firmware upgrade for memo, voice memo. That's right. If you're taking photos now, you can take a photo and then you can sweet talk the camera into listening to you and then you can play it back so you can listen to your sweet voice. Yeah, it makes no sense to me, to be honest. That's the biggest upgrade there is to this system. That announcement was made a week ago that it was coming out today. I was so excited I forgot. But it doesn't really matter, to be honest, because what I really wanted to see was something uh, much greater being added to this. But voice memo is not one of them. I, don't, I really don't see where it comes into play. I mean, you have video, that should be more than enough. How about better video? That would be awesome. But voice memo, the fact that these six uh, users or owners have a uh, voice memo when taking photos, I guess it's cool, but I really do not see the reasoning behind that. Uh, maybe I'm wrong about that, but if I'm gonna take a memo, voice memo for that matter, I'm gonna use my phone, record it if I need to, and it will be a much better, much better audio for that matter. The preamps, the, the whole microphone issue with the Z6, really is not at par with capturing audio anyways. So unless you're standing in front of the camera, again, as if you were shooting video, then you're not really gonna get the best audio. If you're shooting a memo, the memo you're shooting, probably you're, you're speaking from behind the camera and the audio is subpar. And that's exactly what I captured. So if you're really interested about how to get that feature incorporated into your camera, it is very simple. First off, you have to set your camera to video mode then you go to the menu in F2. In F2, you go, you customize the menus. And the only way you can access that button is by customizing the record button, the video record button of the camera. So after you're taking your picture, you press play, and then you press video record on the camera. You hold it or you let it go. It will record the memo up to 30 seconds. You can record up to 30 seconds and then we'll play it back. How do you play back? You press the same video record button again and it will play back the, your memo. Recording audio, this is testing the audio to make sure that everything is working perfect. Testing audio for firmware update 3.30, audio on photos. That's how it works. How, what you see in your computer is totally different. On your computer, you actually get to see two files. They're both named the same, so you have something to refer to. So if it's a file 9550, that would be your NEF file if, you're if we're talking about RAW. If you're talking about WAV files, it will be exactly the same file 9550, if that's what I said, I'm not sure. So 9550 NEF, 9550 WAV. That's how you know how to refer your audio file and see to which photo it corresponds to. That's the biggest update there is to this firmware. Um, let me see what else is there to be honest because nothing else really captured my attention. It also fixed an issue that would sometimes cause the camera to stop recording when the time-lapse movie recording was interrupted. Yeah, that's not an issue really. I had that issue actually uh, happen to me when I'm doing ProRes RAW, run out of batteries on this camera, and then started recording again and there was no audio going into the Ninja. That I had. Now, is that an issue? I don't know. All I know is that I got nothing but static coming to the Ninja after the camera uh, came back. I press record. Skippy was on the screen. I mean, Skippy never really bothered me when it comes up when something like that happens because I know exactly what the situation was. But the fact that the audio did not record, well, that was an issue. So that's happened to me. Oh, I guess the Z6 II is not getting voice memo, only the Z6. Okay. Okay, so the Z6 II doesn't get voice memo, but gets much better auto-focusing system. That's what you get for the Z6 II uh, with uh, firmware 1.2. Uh, firmware 1.2 will give you a better focusing system, but no voice memo. And the fact that it also addresses an issue 
when you were shooting 4K, 60p or 50p, that would sometimes produce unexpected results. Don't know what those results are. I do not own a Z6 II, but if someone owns them, uh, owns one of those cameras, please leave your comments down below as far as what that issue is and what it, it is addressing because I never heard of it. Although I, I do have my buddy from uh, Canada that usually tells me his issues with the Z6, uh, Z7 II. So that way I know how to stay in touch with that camera system. As far as the 50, the 50 I know got the firmware 2.1. Firmware 2.1 got same thing, autofocus, uh, face and eye detection improvements. And that's about it. Nikon is doing a great job. I really love the camera. I really love the system, but those upgrades are very minor. And I really appreciate the fact that they're making still improvements, but those improvements need to be a lot, lot more for this system to carry forward um, in a way where it matters and it stays relevant with other cameras. To be honest, at this point, I would really want to see more of an address coming from Adobe when it comes to working with ProRes RAW and Premiere. I'm working most of the time, actually 100% of the time in Premiere Beta. So it's usually 0.2 versions ahead. If we're on version 15.2, uh, usually Beta is on 15.4 or 15.3. So it's about that difference. What I'm trying to get at is that I'm not seeing anything, anything when it comes to ProRes RAW or addressing ProRes RAW. They're lagging way back and it's not just for that, but also Blackmagic RAW, you know, like working with Premiere is not the best. I much rather see ProRes RAW upgrades or updates to Premiere to work with ProRes RAW because it is really far behind when it comes to working in PC, in Mac, and the only way you can truly, truly work with uh, ProRes RAW files is in Final Cut Pro. That's it when it comes to the Z report. As far as my video today, my video today was very much unfiltered. What that means is that I did not clean the audio, I did not do anything, and that's because I wanted my video to be imperfect as it can be so you guys can see how it's usually recorded. Most of the time, regardless of what I shoot on or what I do, like this microphone right now, the, which is still the DD, I usually still clean the audio for ground noise, and that's because there's the humming from the, the light, the humming from the Ninja, from the fans and all that stuff. That needs to be removed. And when you remove that, you get extremely clean audio. As far as the static noise that I'm showing the whole time in the video, that is something that was a problem and that you can eliminate in post-processing, but I wanted to eliminate it while recording because it was still too much. It was causing headaches when doing the post-processing of audio. That's what happened. There is really nothing wrong with it except for the fact that I actually raised the preamp uh, on the back of the microphone I brought up the levels to 10 instead of keeping at zero like I am right now. And then I forgot to bring it back down. I could have left it at four, force pre decent on it or make, put it back to zero. By doing so, my audio started getting distorted. All I wanted to showcase was the fact that you can fix all your EMI, RFI, audio issues that you get through a cable when you're running an active microphone. And that's exactly what I wanted to show as far as what my audio was. I wanted it to be dirty. I want it to be unfiltered as it can be. So that's what I want to address with you guys. Showcase the fact that the ferrites can actually fix the audio problem between your microphone and your device. Plus the fact that I actually want to be genuinely thankful for the fact that you guys allowed me to reach to 1000 subscribers. You guys have pushed me to be here. You guys have pushed me to actually become better and perhaps even be more comfortable right now today talking as long as I do here without that many cuts. So for that, I do thank you. And for that, I can't wait to do the next video. So thank you guys. And I'll see you next time.